Yeah. <laughs> so welcome to the big open age clash between Yorkshire and Cumbria. My name's Dave Parkinson, your uh, commentator for the game. Uh, currently finding the job pretty difficult because we haven't got a team sheet, but I'm sure once we get furnished with one, I will be able to bring you up to speed with everything that's happening on the field. But it's Cumbria making first use of possession, driving 25 metres from their own line. Certainly looking to uh, set the platform in the centre of the field, as you'd imagine. You have some big fellas. Saw Cumbria play the other week when they took on the uh, Barla Lions. They did particularly well against the best amateurs in the country who are heading off to Fiji. So the first set is complete. It's been charged down there by Yorkshire, dived on by Cumbria. Another set of six tackles coming up. As I mentioned, uh, apologies that I can't be a little bit more precise with my wording uh, as I haven't got a team sheet yet for this game. But uh, Cumbria making all the early running. Ball put to the right-hand side, using the space well. Players in motion, 10 metres away from the try line. Little knock on from Cumbria, that'll be like manna from heaven as far as Yorkshire are concerned. So again, I would love to be uh, bringing you news of exactly who he's playing, but we don't have a team sheet as of yet. So I will leave you to the ambience of the crowd for the meantime. Uh, delighted that we've actually been handed a team sheet. It's took a long while to get that, so thank you very much, Steve. Um, oh, we've only got one, Dave. So. <laughs> we'll do our level best. So, Cumbria in possession. Blaine Marwood passes the ball down the left hand side. It's the number six, Adam Jackson, finding the fullback, Russ Bolton from Ascombe. He's tackled 25 metres out from the try line. Blaine Marwood taking a drive. He was outstanding last week against the uh, the Battle of the Lions, wasn't he? Yeah, he was the, the uh, man of the match for Cumbria, wasn't he? Yeah, he did really well. Kick coming in from Connor Saunders. Out to the right-hand side. I tell you what, they give themselves chances there, didn't they? They celebrate as if they've if scored. They've scored. Uh, so let, whilst we've got this stoppage, let's run through this Yorkshire side. Uh, it's Craig McShane at fullback, Liam Copeland, Jordan Potter, Dale Cogan, Ben Strong in the back line. Halfbacks are Lewis Poskett and Danny Rouse. In the front row, it's Joe Ramsden, Will Inglesby, and Ryan Price with Dwayne McRae, Hal Day, and James Crookshanks at 13. Uh, the bench is. Somebody Duncan. Craig Duncan. Craig Duncan, George Nuttall, Lawrence Dibb, and Daniel Lidbury. Uh, so. Yorkshire getting the penalty and it's going to be halfback Danny Rouse to move the ball forward. In fact, he's they are going to bring it down that uh, left-hand side. So a tap to be taken by Dale Cogan. Uh, I'll bring you the Cumbrian side just as soon as we've got another stoppage. Good run coming in there by Dwayne McRae. 
So nil nil if you just join us here on the Hour League app. My name is Dave Parkinson, joined by Steve Manning. And a little bit of work there from Lewis Poskett. Tackle 40 metres from the try line. Out on the right hand side it is. And that's a solid surge forward by Craig McShane of Hunslet Club Parkside. Had a great season, Hunslet Club Parkside. Yeah, yeah, unbeaten. What a fantastic record for the club and the way they've come through the divisions to get where they are, the penultimate division. Crookshanks, I won it. 15 metres out from the try line. Now it's straightened up through the middle. Big Ryan Price gets an offload as well, to be honest. So they're not so far away from the try line here in Yorkshire. Ball on the left with Rouse. Drops it back over his shoulder. Big tackle coming in and Cumbria have the ball. Yeah, it's a great to tackle on Ben Strong there. I think he thought he got that ball on the crash. He was going to go over, but it wasn't to be. So, again, great defence by Cumbria. Uh, so, yeah, while well, we've got this stoppage, it's Russ Bolton who's fullback for Cumbria. It's a back line of Jonathan Walsh, Luke Penrice, Bobby Wright and Emerson Allen. Halfbacks Adam Jackson and Connor Saunders. Uh, front row is Liam Saunders, Blaine Marwood and Carl McRain. Or is it McBain? Matt Bain. Matt Bain. Uh, Peter Rimmer, Liam Matt Nicholas, and Callum Kinraid. And a bench of Johnny Hodgson, Josh Bannum, Jason Graham and Ryan Wilson. I'm having a quick glance today from the game when they played uh, that friendly against the Lions. That looks uh, as near as damn it, albeit that Blaine Marwood is playing at hooker today, whereas he was playing at full-back uh, yeah. in that uh, game. Seemed to have a bit of a roving commission, though, didn't he? He played a lot at dummy half in that game. Yeah. Uh, and Russ Bolton was out in the centres. And we know what, how dangerous he can be. He's an outstanding player for Ascom. Yeah. So, Cumbria in possession. Floodlights have come on here at York Acorn. We're all, we've all gone a little bit snivelly as the... Uh, we have, I'm trying to, I've, been, I've, I've been battling the cold all week and I thought it had gone and uh, Terry, Terry's battling manfully up there, he's a couple of decks higher than us and I feel sorry for him as we're on low decks and we're freezing. This is what you call winter rugby though isn't it Steve? Yeah. We've all gone soft, that's all it is. So come here in possession, like push back. <laughs> See there's no complaints from any Yorkshire or Cumbrians, it's only us Lancastrians. Who... Oh, it's... <laughs> So Riviera of uh, <laughs> the three counties. So here's Blaine Marwood at dummy half. Sends the ball left to Saunders. He had a great game the other week against the Battle of the Lions, I thought, did Liam Saunders. Puff of the cheeks and forward come Cumbria again. Strong defence there, though, from Halday. Well, they're going to be match tough, aren't they? I know they lost that game, but they're going to be match tough. They've had a couple of training sessions uh, and then they're ready for this, whereas... You know, from a Yorkshire point of view, you can train and train and train. It's what you do on the pitch, isn't it, what uh, gives you that confidence. And it's interesting that headline in the entire coaching setup of Cumbria is none other than the Barler coach himself, Gary Keever. Yeah, fair play to, to Gary. And, uh, you know, he's, he's worked admirably with the uh, with the squad for the Lions uh, from the sunny, sunny months of May uh, to where they are at the moment. Good work down this left-hand side by Cumbria. Peter Rimmer tackled by a three-man posse. We were waiting to move up. Blaine Marwood again, this time finding some support from Adam Jackson. Ball comes out scrappily. Rouse picks it up for Yorkshire. And uh, he's well, going to be tackled. Great. Back bar lines international at Danny Rouse. So he knows his way about the field, Dave. Good player. He's a good lad as well. Ben Strong gets over that 40 metre line inside the Yorkshire half of the field. Still nil nil. Fairly early stages of this game. We've been going about, uh, what, eight minutes? Nil nil. Forward come Yorkshire. Big run there from the 17 Lidbury. Rouse taking control again. Finding McShane. He fires it out the back. Oh, the cut loose. Here's McShane. McShane touching down. They cut loose down the left hand side. Ding. Dale Cogan was also involved in it uh, and that was lovely work from Yorkshire to open the scoring. Well, a beautiful quick handling down that left-hand channel. I mean, he started it and finished it, did Craig McShane and he's taken his form into Yorkshire that he's had all season with the Unslow Club Parkside. And uh, it's just the start and tonic and fillet that uh, Yorkshire wanted. Uh, not want to be the uh, harbinger of bad news. Uh, the uh, under-19s, they got off to a flying start as well but went down... Uh, at the end of the day in that uh, classic that you hopefully just watched but uh, it's 4-0 with a kick to come yes so welcome back to the our league stream i'm really pleased that's easy for me to say isn't it i'm really pleased that we now have a team sheet because we actually started the game and didn't well so. i'm going off i'll be ad-libbing when i'm if i get all these names wrong which uh, it's because i'm glancing down and looking up uh, 
come half jam, I should be all right when I have big lighting <laughs> day. Uh, so I'll, uh, I'll, be, I'll be blagging it a little bit. Um, but, no, uh, you won't, you're fine. We've called it perfect so far. We've not got a name wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um, Four points to nil. Craig McShane with the opening try. I'll tell you a little story, Dave. We've searched high and low for this. For the Tans team sheet. Yeah, and there's a Tasmanian Yorkshireman involved with Yorkshire County. County has had it in his pocket as we've been chasing our tail, <laughs> scurrying in every dressing room possible to find it. And uh, we've got to make sure this gets to the officials uh, when we've done with it uh, so they can sign it off, which they should have done before we started, but we'll not go down that line. <laughs> uh, so that was a missed goal kick. Four points to nil. Well, oh, and suddenly we've got two balls on the field. It's the old London it. bus, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, well, this could go anywhere. Thankfully, avoided all our equipment. So it's half back. Adam Jackson to get us back underway. Another fine player at Askham is Adam Jackson. Ooh, that's a big surge downfield by Daniel Lidbury. Made a good 20 metres on the carry, didn't Yeah, it? but he agreed. He wanted a couple more, but referees pushed, pulled him back. So another run coming in from Joe Ramsden. Solid defence, as you'd expect. The hits already feel bigger in this one. They do. Uh, I take it the uh, Lancashire coaches will be watching and listening to us uh, on the uh, watching the league out, will they, Dave? Uh, yeah, I think there's actually a, a Lancashire deputation that's come across the Pennines. I can see them behind the post to our right hand side. Oh, yes. Kick yeah. goes high from Rouse. Oh, goes way over the head of Bolton. Oh, and Bolton's got to come for oh, it. Got to take a jail there, didn't he, Bolton? He's quick if he gets going, though, he's Bolton. Up to the 20 metre line he goes, plays that ball. Comes out down the left-hand side. Solid hit coming in there by Jordan Potter. Blaine Marwood picks it up to find support. Oh, good hit. Good offload as well by Peter Rimmer. And again, they're keeping the ball alive. Luke Penrice taking over. I wonder whether he's related to the Penrice that played in the first game. Well, you'd think so, wouldn't you? I mean, there can't be many of those uh, up in Cumbria, couldn't there? Oh, and by the way, it was Penny. We did guess right. Did he score that one in trying that last game, Dave? Oh, Penny. I, checked, nice. I yeah. checked out as I was hunting for the uh, team sheet. Ball goes to the right hand side scrappily. Comes up in favour of Jonathan Walsh. He's off oh. down the middle. That's a great run from Walsh, to be fair. <laughs> Split the defence, and Marwood picks up, kicks over the top. Oh, oh well, yeah. that's well taken by Craig McShane, who's off on the counter himself. Oh, he's lost he ball in contact. Marwood's picked it up. Free play. Marwood slips it out to the left. Run coming in there for Emerson Allen. 25 metres out from the try line. Chance here for the Cumbrians. Luke Penrice chucks himself forward, beats the first tackler. Marwood gets in at dummy half. Son of Dean Marwood, of course. Once upon a time, a professional with Barrow and uh, Workington Town. Marwood again picks up, sends it to the right. Jackson keeps it moving. Good work from Cumbria, but Bolton has lost it. Excellent work from Yorkshire, putting plenty of line speed in on that one. Yeah, it was um, Dale Corgan who uh, obviously got in his high line and he, and he bottled it, so to speak, and he's, uh, he's got the mistake. And uh, Yorkshire certainly needed that ball there because there was a chance of movement down that right-hand channel, Dave. He's made a great start to the game, hasn't he, Cogan? Because he was uh, heavily involved in the That's first try, right, yeah. which uh, landed up with uh, Craig McShane scoring. And defensively as well, he's been tipped top. He has as uh, they come forward through uh, Halday. Hal oh, he'll take that Halday. <laughs> <laughs> 25 metres away from their own line, Yorkshire coming down this right-hand side. Again, putting numbers in, aren't they? This will just slow Yorkshire down slightly, and that's what they'll be hoping for. Referee's patience holds. Got it. Oh, oh, that was a hell of a hit. That was a great hit, that was. Fantastic work from Luke Penrice. He certainly put himself in there with that shoulder. He dropped that a legit, legit shoulder drop down there. Then what he a put hit. him down on his backside. That was absolutely magnificent defence there. And they're going to start this attack in the... Uh, and the Yorkshire half as well, it's uh, just been uh, going to be scum just uh, outside of the, uh, the Yorkshire uh, 40 metre line. Referee wants it doing again. Uh, 
So ball fed. It eventually comes out to Marwood. He then finds some running outside. Bobby Wright taking that hit up. 30 metres away from the try line. Marwood again, lively start from him. Finds Bolton. He'll settle it down. Fearless as well as Bolton. He's uh, put himself about, hasn't he? Yeah. Down that right-hand channel. They'll again carry on going down right. Liam McNicholas with that run. Marwood inside the 20. Opens it out. Connor Saunders finding Jackson. Bolton. Got an overlap. Got an overlap. He's going for it. Oh, he's going to give it his winger there, Dave. Yeah, Penrice held it too long there. Ball comes back in field. Still, it's not gone away for Cumbria. This danger. Peter Rimmer driving for the line. Five metres out. Plays the ball. Long Good ball out. left. Penrice. Oh, he spilled it. Well, I think he'd either scored it or passed it before he took that then, David. He got too many options then, hadn't he? But uh, it was a great chance. He yeah, there were, scored. there were three things he could have done with that ball then, and he didn't do any of them. No. <laughs> it was fine defence, to be honest, by Yorkshire. Just slide across to Justin Charlie. Slide. So here we are at York Acorn, as we were in the first game. Hopefully you're enjoying the footage here on... Uh, the Our League app. My name's Dave Parkinson alongside Steve Manning. And I tell you what, it's been a lively old opening this one, hasn't it? Well, uh, the first game was fast, but this has just gone up a ruck, this hasn't it? And uh, the physicality has uh, is gone higher as well. And uh, both sides want it badly. Forward come Yorkshire again. The big number 17, Daniel Lidbury. Takes three to wrap him up. They're on halfway. Set is completed. Kick coming in by Poskett. Oh, again, he's allowed it to bounce as Bolton, but manages to redeem himself. Gets past the first tackler. Here's Penrice running from deep. Putting himself about as well. Good work from Yorkshire. Big numbers in that defensive tackle there. They're just trying to eke a mistake and that Colgan's in the faces again, isn't he, Dave? There's Saunders. Big charge from him. Liam Saunders just before the halfway line. Blaine Marwood. Ball out to the left-hand side. It's Bolton. Oh, they've got numbers. Bolton keeps it moving to Penrice. Looks really incisive when down this left-hand side, doesn't he, Penrice? They look dangerous. And again, the winger shouting for it. He didn't get it, but uh, that wasn't the time to do it as a bomb goes in, and it's well taken. Superbly fielded there by Strong. Putting numbers in the challenge again, like we'd expect. <laughs> trying, to be, trying to just get in the faces, aren't they? There's a good down that to short side. Craig McShane brushes away from one, goes again. <laughs> Looks real quality, doesn't he, McShane? Colgan tucks the ball under his wing. Knew he was going to get hit as soon as he got it. Well, Matt Shane's got that quality when he played in a side like he's played in. It must be confidence every week going into a game Dave uh, for the Yorkshire at full back Lawrence Dibb will play that ball back and once again it's Lidbury this time 40 metres away from the Cumbrian line where it's the last tackle on the left the ball has been moved to Rouse who gets his kick away under a bit of pressure they're obviously trying to get it over the head of Bolton because they know he's not going to be as dangerous if he's going to turn and oh, yeah. the ball up but what they've now they've given away uh, it's a seven tackle set now isn't it uh, you know, it's, it's, it's how crucial that last tackle kick is, isn't it? And, uh, you know, it's a skilled art these days, kicking uh, from our pack uh, or, or on your last. So four points nil if you just join us in favour of the Yorkshire side, a try from Craig McShane. Uh, we've been going for almost 20 minutes of this game and it's as tight and tense as you would have expected. Saunders throws, him way, throws his weight forward to the halfway line. Marwood. Oh, lovely work from Marwood. That was class. Oh, he's it. got a penalty quickly. Well, he's got a he's got a rugby league brain, hasn't he? You know, Absolutely he, class. He knew, what, he knew what was on. He knew he was going to get the penalty, and, and he played for it, and he got it. It's been uh, outstanding for Barrow Island as Blaine Marwood this season. Well, they've had a great season in the debut season in the Kingston Press, haven't they? Saunders once again bringing the ball through the middle, proving difficult to hold. Took three of them to stop him. Marwood sends it right. Through the hands, it goes to Bolton. Rouse wraps him up. Well, it looks a little bit his tail on uh, for his corner there, uh, Dave. So, gets up gingerly. 
to be fair, he's been battered once or twice already in this game, hasn't he, Russ Bolton? Well, he certainly put his body on the last early doors and he's carrying on doing that. As, uh, big run from Jason Graham. We're obviously hoping a big things tomorrow from another Graham. Well, we also we want a two we want a two nil series win tomorrow. Peter Rimmer held five metres out. Play the ball comes in, it's back to the middle. Jackson decides there's nothing doing, takes the ball in himself. He's two metres out from the try line. Blake oh, Marwood, Marwood can sniff it. the line from here. He's going for it. He's got it. He's got it. That's some fine alert play. Nothing but the best for Blake Marwood. He's been outstanding at the start of this game. Well, he got the penalty that uh, led up to that try, and you, you just knew that he was going to go for it. Back, fans himself and back himself, and uh, you know, I suppose from a defensive point of view, in the big scheme of things, it was a poor try to give away. But he knew what was happening. He was switched on, and he just saw that gap, and he went for it. And it's uh, it's uh, four apiece, and. Uh, You'd back them in front of the H's for um, Connor Saunders to add the extra reserve, Dave. Oh, is it? Yeah. Right, we've done a bit of rearrangement, so <laughs> right, still feel like I still feel like I'm a still feel like I'm a choir singer at the moment, eh? But uh... <laughs> you know, I've never heard you sing before, Steve. <laughs> that was a solid kick to the sticks from Connor Saunders and an extra two points has been added. So uh, the champions are uh, behind and uh, well I don't think anybody was expecting that before the game started, but uh, I think the bottom line, Dave, is that Cumbria have shown a couple of weeks ago they battle hard for this game. And whatever Cumbria, sorry, whatever Yorkshire are going to throw at them, and Yorkshire are going to have to throw some at them now to uh, get back in this game, aren't they? They certainly are. Uh, I wonder where Rouse is going to send this ball. Quality kicker, quality player, to be honest. As you mentioned... Uh, uh, I'm sure he's a ball of player of the year as well, a couple yeah. of years ago as well, was uh, Danny, and he's, uh, his dad was involved with the uh, ball side as well. Uh, a couple of years ago. So it runs in the family. Forward come Cumbria. Big charge there from Jason Graham. 20 metres away from his own line. Plays it to Blaine Marwood. He then finds the, the running of uh, Russ Bolton. They bring it down this left-hand side. Oh, he knew he was going to get pummeled then. Knew he was going to get absolutely pummeled oh, in Rimmer there. That, yeah. They just get up though, don't they? Dave? They do. Saunders, good work from him. Slips the ball out Not as well. Board. Graham keeps it moving. Chance down this left hand side, if only briefly. Tell you what, he did well to interest the number six then in the challenge then, didn't he? Yeah. Lewis Poskett tried to get out of there as quick as he could. Here's Jackson. Gets his kick away. Over the head it goes and McShane retreats. Runs all across field. Oh, he spotted something. Good kick return. It's just a shame he'd not got the support there, Dave. Nice strong, strong. Goes down the left. Oh, here we go, Coughlin. Oh, he's kicked over the top. And the back to collect uh, Cumbria. Good work from Jonathan Walsh. Oh, when they've knocked on. Oh. Don't tell me I've come up with another commentator's curse. Sorry, Dave, you've done it again, mate. But it was a cracking chip. <laughs> it's a, a cracking chip over and chase. And a, a kick of this is only as good as its chase, isn't it? We just thought he'd done okay there, but uh, he eats a little uh, knock on, and it's uh, that man, uh, Coglet Cogan, who's done it again. And uh, he's in a situation where he can set up a try to get his side back in the game. So, Yorkshire off the ball, 10 metres away from the try line, bring it down the right hand side. Still, he continue to test the line. That's Hal Day. Down the right-hand side, it goes to McShane. McShane between defenders. They've all masked up on him now, pushing him towards the touchline. The ball's gone loose, but there's a penalty, a penalty here. here. Have, a look, have a look and see if he's uh, forced him into touch, but... Uh, <coughs> he's holding play up here. There's time off here. As, uh, yeah, we, we're again missing a ball on the field. That's what was doing it. Tap to be taken. Solid surge from Halday once more. Ball goes loose again, but it's another penalty. Well, they've got to keep the pressure on and uh, try and break this Cumbria defence down. So 
So once again, Yorkshire will tap. Poskett finds the strong running of the 16, Lawrence Dibb. Doing half Will Ingleby. He'll take it left. Passes nice. across to Rouse. Now McShane. Stuttering run. Gets around his man, though. He can only run so fast. Good slide in defence, though, wasn't it, Dave? You know, he got his wing on his outside, but he didn't give him a semi side ball. Colgan in field. Finds a strong run there from Dwayne McRae. Equally strong tackle, though. It drives him back. Well, they've not made anything there, have they? The momentum's gone slightly. Ten metres away from the line. Here's Crookshanks. All wrapped up by three. Some magnificent defence so far. Can they hold out? Poskett, long ball, chance here. Oh, the pass Whoa. goes into touch. That's gone begging there. Jordan Potter, he was looking for his winger, Copeland. Copeland had come inside. Great sliding defence, though, Dave. I mean, you know, your tax is only as good as your defence, and uh, they had a slight chance, though, but uh, Cumbie got across really well. Ball went dead. They've got head and feed. I'm sure they'll be in no worry to uh, take this scrum because this, uh, <coughs> the speed of this game is un unbelievable, Dave. Um, you know, it's quicker than the opening game, and that was pretty damn fast as well. Does this kind of remind you in some ways, though, of that first game? Because Yorkshire are starting to look a little bit more dangerous with the field position, but the Cumbrian defence is holding. Yeah, yeah, it, it's it, it's very, very similar, isn't it, Dave? Um, you know, that you, you look and you think, well, Yorkshire have got their attacking edge, but Cumbria have got that dogginess, so that, they've got that mongrel about them, haven't they? That's a great run from Graham again. He's taking on all comers at the moment, he's Graham. He'll play this ball 30 metres out from his line. It's worked back for another strong carry. Connor Son, as it was doing the uh, passing. Marwood pops it out to the left. Strong defence from Yorkshire once again. Cumbria just inside their own half of the field. Kick coming in by Connor Son just to complete the set. It's a good kick as well. Look at that, he'll bounce, it'll bobble. Will it find touch? McShane does well to stop it, it from going out. And that's a good chase. Saunders can't quite complete the tackle, but Marwood does. He did well to keep that in. I don't know he thought it were a 40 20, what it were there, but he keep that ball in play, Dave, was superb. Copeland with that run out of defence. 20 metres away from his own line. He'll play this ball. Kogan. 30 metres away from their own line. I don't think he knows a backward step that centre, does he, Dave? Oh, he's big, he's strong, he's tough, isn't he? Yeah. Six points to four in favour of Cumbria, though, at the minute. One try each as the ball went down the right-hand side. Ryan Price with the carry on that occasion, just over halfway. He'll play this to uh, Craig Duncan. And the ball goes high up in the air off the boot of Lewis Poskett. Well taken there by Walsh. Starts the counter-attack. He's got That's a good nice step. This. He's got some nice pace about him, hasn't he? Yeah. Walsh to play this ball, 35 from his own line. Especially from a standing start as well, Dave, taking that bomb. A doggy run there from Bobby Wright. Oh, ball goes it. loose, there's another penalty. <coughs> and at this time it's gone in favour of the Cumbrians, who lead by six points to four. So they'll just punt it downfield and slowly claw their way up that uh, field and try and get into a try, a try position. So playing Marwood to tap. Referee marking a good 10 there. Saunders finding a strong run in there. And the ball going oh. loose. First tackle, Dave. Coach Killer again. Oh, and it, oh. Something's oh. been said, and nah, Ryan was, Wilson lashed out. That was just mini handbags. That was, that was awful, that was. If you're going to have a biff, let's have a proper one. <laughs> I thought, you'd be, I thought you'd be saying otherwise, they shouldn't be doing that. I know they shouldn't be doing it, but it's a county game. It's The passion. It's, yeah, that's what it's all about, you know. It's So what was that film that was out in that, uh, was it Passion of the Christ? So we were doing Passion of the County. Is this passion what, of the County. Passion of the County. Is no nails bad. Is this what we're watching? The <laughs> Passion of again. the County. No nails bad. <laughs> it made my eyes water when I watched that, you know, Dave. <laughs> passion of the County. Passion of the County. He can have that as a hashtag for Barlow it's if he wants, Steve. It, it? Yeah. So, run comes in from Halliday for Yorkshire on the halfway line he's put down. Next to the run comes in from Jordan Potter. Very direct. Oh, he's getting tasty. Getting tasty, Dave. It's uh, Adam Jackson's just letting him know he's there. <laughs> but, 
So two penalties, though, Dave. I mean, this is what they want. A bit of momentum, Yorkshire, to try and turn this pressure into points on them penalties. Halday is 22 metres out from the line. Ball swept across left. Rouse is on it. Got numbers here. Good work. Here's Poskett. Oh, found himself all wrapped up there with nowhere to go. I thought they might have flicked it inside to Corgan, but he didn't as uh, the Charged big man Lidbury. Five metres out from the line. Can't believe they're out of this situation again, Yorkshire. Can they make it count now? Chances here. Dibby's held up. Great tackle. Duncan's wanting a quick play of the ball. It's passed down the right. Again, a further chance, but that's great work on Nuttall. Last tackle signalled. Ball comes to the middle. Rouse launches it for the left corner as we look on. It had, uh, it had done something to get that ball. It was a cracking bomb, but it was, it was too high for the winger as such, wasn't it, that, Dave? Yeah, and he's kicked it out on the full as well, so it's going to be uh, turnover possession, this one. Hang on, what's he? He's having a chat with the touch judge here. And it is a turnover. So he's, he's marked the point where the kick was taken from, I think, yeah. hasn't he? From where the turnover is uh, given. Six He's having problems with these balls, don't they, Dave? Six points to four in favour of the Cumbrians. Can it be a Cumbrian double, Steve? Well, I know, Carl, we, I think we all know Carl Morton. He's passionate about his Yorkshire County. Uh, I did ask him, uh, as I put in an email, if in, inadvertently you lose these two games, could you bring the trophies? And I can take him to Cumbria next week. And uh, so you're going to have in the back it. So you're going to have these in the boot of your car, are you? These trophies. Yes. Yes. I'm going to have to get a picture. I was going to say I'll sell them to the highest bidder, but I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Cumbria doing incredibly well this set to relieve the pressure on them. 40 metres away from their own line as Marwood picks up the support of Graham, wrapped up by three. Is Jason Graham? Marwood finds. Jackson, who gets his kick away, bounces up fairly harmlessly for Poskett, who's now playing fullback, or certainly was on that occasion. Well, I'm assuming the fact that Matt Shea's making all these big meters, they fancy him as a, as a halfback, Dave. Good defence, nuggety defence from Cumbria. Really getting amongst this Yorkshire side at the moment. That's Potter once more on the ball, but wrapped up fairly quickly. He's a big man, isn't he, Lidbury? Couldn't find much space, though. What are you, about six foot seven, Dave? He, I would say so. He's a giant out there. Another good run from Ryan Price. Good offload. Gets the ball out, too. Continue to roll their way forward through Lawrence Dibb. 30 metres away from the try line. Last one. What's the last tackle Goal option side. like? Good work. Ball works its way out to the winger, but it's a forward pass. Liam Copeland kicked it away, but I think he was doing that before he was hoping not to get caught. I'll tell you what, he's uh, John on the spot, the referee so far, hasn't he, David? He's not missed anything. Well, he's a man on form, knows a lot about the professional ranks as well. He plays for uh, North Wales Crusaders. Well, it's, it's good to see, it, you know, re you know, having referees that have played, that still play the game or have played the game, and if they don't know, if they don't know how to get it right, there's something wrong, isn't there, really, Dave? You know, they know what. They know how players' minds think, you know, and the 50-50 call, they'll know them as well. Tell you what, there's this snippy winger, Jonathan Walsh on the ball again. He'll play it back in his own 30, Marwood. Tries to launch something down the left, but it's a stepping run from Peter Rimmer. Right back into contact, right back into the arms of three awaiting Yorkshiremen. Couldn't have asked for a warmer welcome there, could he, really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, big not as warm as that one, Dave. Johnny Hodgson. Hell of it, that on him. Disappears underneath two tacklers. Good kick coming in there by Connor Saunders, or is it a good kick? No, it's not a good kick at all. Well, not have commentated. No, no, we're not, no, that's not commentated. It's good that day. I'm just thinking, uh, you know, we're on about like, you know, the Mary Whistler who's played the game. The only one I can think of, I'll probably, I'm probably wrong, and we'll get a load of emails, is Jamie Bloom. Uh, Jamie Bloom, yeah. Um, hashtag our league, if you can think of any other. <laughs> Former players that have uh, Robin refereed. Whit Robin Whitfield is smiling, he's tearing. See, you did that actually without uh, actually doing the hashtag and texting us. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you can give any other players or ex players that have also refereed, let us know. 
run through the middle, coming in there by Halday. He's been prominent, hasn't he? Yeah, he's, uh, he drives well. He's, he hits and spins very good. And again, the very direct Yorkshire, aren't they? Lawrence Dib with that drive through the middle. Into the uh, closing stages of the half. Five minutes remaining of the first half, or thereabouts. And they're bringing it down the left. Here's Rouse. Oh, that looked like Oh, it. and the ball misses everybody. Oh, looked to shoot across oh, into me, Dave, as well. You know, I think Corgan. You know what? I think they've I think they've actually lost the way a little since Craig McShane. I don't think he's out there now, because uh, I noticed that George Nuttall was in the half backs. Right. Uh, they've lost the way a little bit since he's yeah. had to uh, leave the well, field. Well, he's a key. He's a he's a key to the Yorkshire side, isn't he, uh, Craig McShane? Cumbria will just be thankful because they were looking quite good again until every time he's had the ball, he's looked dangerous with it, hasn't he? You know? Yeah. So Bolton will play this ball 25 metres from his own line. Marwood shuffles the ball left to Graham. Just keeps offering himself up in a, a similar way to uh, uh, Ensley did in, in the first yeah. game. Adam Ensley, yeah. Doing it tough for Cumbria. Playing it very tight. No look pass. And you can tell it's a no look pass because it's picked up by Kogan. <laughs> Yeah, but they're running like a rash. They didn't give him a chance to take advantage of the free play. And they've won a penalty, penalty too, yeah. To be fair, Bolton was all over him. Yeah. Shrugs his shoulders as he gets up. Looks it's just a bit a dejected. It's just a pity the 11 as I worked around over Aston Villa like a rash last night, but that's another story, Dave. Uh, James Crookshanks has returned to the field. I'm liking the way that the uh, the referees officiating this game though. There's that man, George Nuttall, put down on the 20 metre line. Yorkshire flooding forward. Have they got any end product? Crookshanks rushes forward to the 10 metre line. They'll go direct from dummy half now. Good run there by Duncan. Well, they can sniff that line now, Dave. Just Crookshanks. Half time. Long pass left. Rouse. Rouse pops it out. Here's Strong. Strong for the line. Ooh. Ball goes loose. And in fact, it's been knocked out in the tackle. Well, you're so it's going to be a drop work credit due that to that defence day. That you know they, they have been very very good, haven't they, uh, Cumbria? Oh, this, they were they absorbed it. They've been at this other, on that right channel when it, when they had a chance and uh, you know battered it, batted it away. It's only a mid-range dropout, only gets 30 metres. Rouse was underneath it. Fires it into the waiting arms of Ryan Price, who launches another attack for Yorkshire, who still trail by two points in this game. Not all, brings it down the right. Poskett keeps it moving. Great tackle there on Potter. Still 20 metres away from the try line of Yorkshire, bringing it back through the middle. Good challenge coming in there on Dib. Duncan works, dummy half as well. Sends it left. Rouse calls for it, gets it. Almost then popped to left to Poskett. He slips it out. Oh, the beautiful ball is in. They are in. And it's none other than Ben Strong who's touched down at the corner. Lovely work, great hands. And you that, can't defend forever, can you? Well, that last pass, one hell of a pass that, first of all. You know, to try something as audacious as that. And then, uh, you know, Strong was there. He made sure that he kept all that ball and uh, went over for a try. And, uh, I said, you know, if, if you talk about pressure into points, they've, they've probably got the just desserts there. They, they've tried both sides of the channels and eventually it's come off for them. And it's uh, just before half time and uh, it's all about psychological blows of when you score tries. And uh, that was an ideal time for them to uh, score that try, Yorkshire. And uh, yes, it's, it's hard to say whether they deserve it or not because both sides have given it their all, but Yorkshire have looked that little bit more dangerous in attack. 8 but 6 for Yorkshire with the kick to come from Copeland. Um, yeah, I thought that was. Turned the pressure into points, haven't they? It was a really good piece of play down that left hand side and uh, deserved. Yeah, and it's, uh, another, uh, it's another, you know, I think in this game and the last game, neither none of the tries have been made easy for the goal kickers, have they, Dave? Uh, to be fair, though, I remember speaking to various coaches and they're always happier if the tries are scored out on the wings because it shows that you've had yeah. to move the ball to actually beat somebody. Yeah. They, they hate tries being scored through the middle of the pack. Yeah. 
bomb in the slide in defence. It just didn't get. But it was an audacious pass, was it? It was worth the admission money to to watch that to pass to uh, to the winger. Lovely from Colgan that wasn't yeah. it? Uh, who again is prominent in that first try for McShane? He's been prominent in another one. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's, I hope. Has Copeland landed that one? No, it's waved away. 8-6 is how it remains. But crucially, it's 8-6 to Yorkshire. And looking at the clock, there's just a few seconds left. Depend on what uh, the man in the middle decides to give extra. But uh, there wasn't, there's not been that many, many problems stoppages, I don't think, as it is. I, uh, I can't really that. think of many stoppages in this it's half. It's been a quick, uh, a quick, a quick pace game, hasn't it? He's having a glass at his watch now. So there can't be that long left. No. So where's Jackson going to put this kick? Sends it long. It'll bounce up for Rouse, who fires it back into the middle of the field. Stuttering run forward by the Yorkshireman, but the up to the 20-metre line. They've just got to keep hold of this set of six, I think, because I'm sure they'll blow after this. Duncan goes left. Do I not exploit that short side? They must go down that channel of moments ago. Yeah, Dwayne McRae caught in a three-man challenge. Rouse drops it back over his shoulder. Here's Crookshanks. Ouch, I felt that one from here. He's put himself about it. Oh, well, ball's popped it? out. Still play continues. They're over the halfway of Yorkshire. Looking to put pressure on. It again goes left through Rouse. Good challenge there, particularly from Connor Saunders. The halfback got himself up, but the offloads come in. Referee wants it to be played. Rouse fires it into the corner. And well, they must have known that was the last play of the game, and uh, it's 8-6, uh, Dave, and it's it's game on. It's anybody's game, this, isn't it? Yeah, again, so, so similar to the first game of the yeah. afternoon, and uh, Craig McShane and Ben Strong, the try scorers for Yorkshire. Uh, Blaine Marwood responding with a try uh, for Cumbria. One goal from the boot of Connor Saunders. 8-6, he's as tight as a drum, but possibly... I would say Yorkshire deserving of the lead. Yeah, but I mean, say that we thought about that uh, in that last game and look what happened in the last five minutes of that day. Uh, so we'll sign off for a quick half time cuppa. And, and Manning doing Pittman shorthand. <laughs> <laughs> Join us again in a few minutes' time for the second half.
Well, I just need to. Because of the gap between them, I didn't get a chance to send that email to Phil anyway, so I'll have to afterwards. Hello and welcome back to second half coverage via the Our League app of this open age encounter in the Three Counties Championship and it's Yorkshire taking on Cumbria. Cumbria in the hoops, Yorkshire in black and white. And it's uh, Yorkshire who lead by eight points to six at the break. Two tries scored by them through Craig McShane and Ben Strong. Uh, Blaine Marwood getting the response for Cumbria. And uh, Yorkshire in possession, pushing their way forward for the halfway line. Good, solid surge from that on Lawrence Dibb, who's worked his socks off, it would be fair to say. He's done real Oh, oh Crookshanks has dropped it. Chance here for Cumbria. Well, that's probably his first mistake, isn't it, that day, uh, yeah. from Crookshank? Came on midway through the first half. Uh, Yorkshire actually started with Daniel Lidbury off the bench. Right. Even though he's listed as a substitute, but we're just I'm just glad we've got a team sheet to be honest. <laughs> After the well, issues I'm, we had at the start of the game. Well I'm just glad I managed to well, again people won't know what Pittman's is anymore. It's a good job that uh, the hand was uh, quicker than the uh, players coming out as uh, Cumbria have got the ball, they're on the centre, that's a poor ball there. Wild pass from Saunders, well picked up by Bolton, who then puts it left to Penrice. Ooh, that warmed his ears. Big collision there, Penrice to play it, 22 metres out from the try line, infield it comes to Jackson, who drops it back over his shoulder, looking for the running of Peter Rimmer, who's been prominent in this game, hasn't he? He certainly has. So Cumbria, 20 metres out, Marwood puts it right, kick comes in from Jackson. Clever kick that, oh, he threw that, well did, uh, Danny Rouse. He, ha he actually palmed that one up in the air and then got it on the second attempt, didn't he? Superb athleticism, and uh, is that our man Colgan there? Colgan's had a brilliant game so far. Yeah. Set both tries up. As far as Yorkshire are concerned. And uh, plenty of encouragement amongst the Cumbrian line to get up and meet their opponents. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm not sure you would have caught any of the industrial language. If you did, we apologise. But uh, here we are on the hour league app. Yorkshire in possession, pushing their way forward to make halfway. And he's done just that as Lawrence Dibb. Popping up on both sides of the field. Here's Rouse. Puts the ball high. Mid-range kick. They've got players underneath it. Well taken by Cumbria in the end. And he knew what was coming and he got it, didn't he, Dave? He certainly did, Emerson Allen. on that far side. I really like the look of Penrice. I think he, he could be a real match winner. Rimmer juggles. Disappears under a three-man challenge on the halfway line. Two and a half minutes into the second half. Penalty for Cumbria. They'll appreciate this. Well, it's put them in a great position now. I mean, uh, I'm, st I'm still not sure why they're walking down there, Dave. I can understand it's on this side, but not down there. But uh, they walk forward 10 metres and it's a drive forward there from uh, Jason and uh, Graham. Is it that if, you've, if you select to tap it, you do it on both sides of the field? Is that yeah, where it is? I'm sure that's what it must be, Dave. I thought in the in the opening game, I thought that they actually came for position in that. But uh, obviously, I might be mistaken. But... Uh, all right, it doesn't give either side an advantage, but if you're an attacking side, you should Chance here for Cumbria. Flying Penrice. play from Penrice. Penrice, there's no stopping him. That is fantastic from Penrice. Well, they went down that to the side and uh, they made him pay good style. And you, you, I'll tell you what, Dave, can you do my lottery number? Because you were, you said Penrice could be the man to do it and he's uh, got in there at the corner and his brother scored the winning try in the under-19s game. So could it be a double Penrice weekend? Penrice from heaven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very good, that. Dude. That's a brilliant try down the left hand side. I, mean, I was trying to put a line in there, but I couldn't think of one, mate. <laughs> oh. I don't know where he got that one from, Terry. Oh. But uh, what it does do, it. Uh, it gives them a two-point lead, and it's another kick from the touchline, Dave, isn't it? But uh, 
you know, the way he bursts through, I mean, he's probably one of the, probably one of the smallest players on the pitch, isn't he? And he's uh, he just gets stuck in, doesn't he? Um, I'd describe him as gangly. He's like a gangly centre, isn't he, really? He's yeah. all legs and arms. Yeah, there's a line there, and I'm not going down there with that one. But, yeah, you're right, you're right. But, uh, I mean, the try nearly scored him, didn't it? He certainly did, yeah. I mean, he, he brushed away from three players, didn't yeah. he? It was just a, a real class bit of three-quarter play there from Penn Rice. Now can Saunders convert? He hits it. Well. Connor Saunders. I think it's going to the left. Oh, he's, he's, scored, he's going to the right. What a cracking kick by Saunders. And uh, that's give Cumbria then. It's a... 12-8 leading, my simple maths and right, Dave, isn't it? I'm glad you were doing so added up there, Steve. What did you do? <laughs> Fingers and toes. No, I mean, hey, two other two cool, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so it's back to the halfway line, and yes, it is. Uh, Yorkshire 8, Cumbria 12. But, uh, well... Gary Hewer will be a happy man at the moment, won't he? Hey, well, what a, what, a way to, what a way to go to Fiji. I was going to actually ask you what you felt might have been said at half-time. I mean, Cumbria actually stopped out on the pitch. I mean, I they? can't get over that, Dave. I mean, uh, we've, High kick. we've stopped out because we were lad, but uh, you'd have thought the players would have gone in. But it's gone so. back in Cumbria's favour. Blaine Marwood has dropped on it. He's been outstanding, hasn't he? He is an outstanding young talent. If there's any professional scouts watching this as well, they'll surely be alerted. He's got to be on the hit list of as, several of the Cumbrian clubs, hasn't he? As long as we give it three weeks, Dave. Let us get this out of the way first. Oh, no, I'm not saying for any player to leave this. I mean, this is a great occasion, isn't it, for, yeah. for any player at amateur level to get the opportunity to represent your county, and that's a power back run too. I mean, let's be quite honest. You Quit playing the ball. You don't get it at pro level, oh. this, do you, Dave? Oh, what a... What a you don't get it at pro level, this. And, you know, in these two games we've so, shown so far, it just shows how much it means to these players. You know, they, they want to play for the county. They're proud of playing for the county. Well, it means everything, doesn't it? I mean, you, it's just every little run epitomises that passion. As I said, passion of the county. Yeah, and it's, it is the pathway to uh, where you're going next. You know, for the open age, it's a pathway to uh, play for the Battle of Lions and going on Southern Hemisphere to as every three to four years, you know, the greatest accolade you can have as an amateur. Mm. Here come Yorkshire, down this left-hand side. If anything, our man Cogan just crowded the man in possession there. They did. Duncan at dummy half, fires it into the middle. Strong surge, well met there for Ryan Price. He's got three players around him. He still won that tackle up. That Ooh. went The ball is juggled and dropped. I thought it was just a, a tad forward for Dave, but he, uh, you know, he didn't... Uh, didn't take advantage because the referee wasn't going to blow. And I know I saw him earlier as uh, st stood to our right hand side, uh, Craig Matcher. I don't know if he's gone under in the sheds at, at some stage with his carrying injury, but uh, at some stage they've got to put the full back on because every time he had the ball, Dave, they looked dangerous. He certainly do. It was Marwood. Comes down the right hand side. He had to duck and find the floor. Did Bobby right there? Oh, he's uh, caught one on his knee there. That's Corgan. Yeah, this looks serious. It's rare you get a player really clutching at an injury, isn't it? Well, this has got visions of um, Jamie Field in that uh, grand final when he went down clutching his knee, and Jamie's not the, you know, he's the Lions captain, and he's not the first sort of person staying And I thought, oh dear, don't say his two is done with. But he got up okay, and I'm hoping from a Corgan point of view that uh, he, can, he can run it off because he's. Uh, He's one of the go-to players. He's created the two tries that his side has scored. You can tell that he's a real strike player. He's important in defence as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's all right. He just needed warming up again. Yeah, well, only one way. It's only one way of warming up. Get that ball. So run. <laughs> but that's all right for me to say. Stood here, isn't it? It is, yeah. I'm glad you're saying it, to be honest, because you won't find well, me I'm saying it. I'm, I'm at the edge, ready to you're teetering. <laughs> Marwood takes it down the right-hand side. Here's uh, that man, Jonathan Walsh, who was also prominent in the first half. He's all right now, he's Corgan. He's mixing it. Yeah. <laughs> Solid surge for Josh Bannum. Quick play of the ball as well, Marwood. Ships it left. 
He's out with Jackson. He fires it further wide. They're looking dangerous, increasingly yeah. more dangerous, aren't they, Cumbria? They're getting that little bit more. I mean, that kick must have done the confidence hell of a hell of a thing for him. No, that wasn't forward. Uh, from uh, Graham. He's been outstanding also. Last one. I would send it left. Jackson. Little chip over the top for the middle. Taken in well by Saunders in the first instance. He's gone back. He's kicked it forward as Marwood. Still we're on last Still tackle. Last. Here's Graham. In fact, no, it isn't the last tackle. It's been wiped out. <laughs> well, that was... It looked like one of those legendary Andrew Johns banana kicks had on the last side, didn't it? it? Certainly had something to it anyway. Ryan Wilson chucks himself at the line. Play Marwood, weights dummy half duties, dutifully, puts it left. Seven. Good movement, out to Jackson. Jackson onto Bolton, oh. Bolton further wide, they flew it, coughed up. On the counter attack, free play. You can't take your eyes off this game, can you? Well, you thought you'd, well, you'd put your money in going over there, wouldn't you? They did everything right until the last pass. Yeah. Well, can Yorkshire counter attack? They have uh, got the ball. Quick play the balls, another angle drive. Uh, strong, splitting the line. Just couldn't uh, keep on his feet. Quick play oh, the ball. Quick play the ball. Fair play to the referee is, uh, I think, uh, you know, with him having played the game, so I think he appreciates the quick play the ball and, uh, you know, fair play to him. But uh, So we're going to have another march 10 metres forward. Well, he knows what it's like being a hooker as well and knowing that you need that quick rook. Well, that's what you want. It's, what you want a quick play, don't you? And there's... Uh, it's Ooh, number eight, it's uh, Joe Ramston, who's just come back on to, uh, into the fray to try and uh, get the white rolls. Duncan passes in field, looks for the strong running there of McRae. McRae to the 20, Duncan again taking over, keeping it alive amongst the middle as Nuttall slips it out. Good defence once more. This time on Halday. Yorkshire pummeling the line through Crookshanks. About five metres away there, Dave. Is it building for Yorkshire? They'll pass left. Rouse. The numbers. Keeps it moving. It's it. Poskett. Poskett kept his centre of gravity low. Well oh, held. He's going to get out to his winger then. Uh, strong. Cogan. Ball to the middle. Rouse puts it on the toe. High kick. Oh, oh a great try! Copeland goes over. Fantastic Class. pass from Copeland. What a cracking try, Dave. Left like a salmon. And went in and swooped under the H's. Rouse, lovely kick for the corner. And I tell you what, as soon as uh, Copeland rose for that, there was only one winner, wasn't there? Oh, it's a, a cracking try, that. Cracking try. And uh, being a clever player as well, not only did he just leap and get the ball, he went under the H's to make it an easy kick. And uh, I would... No, I'm not a betting man, but you would think in front of the H's that uh, Yorkshire can uh, retake the lead. And, uh, Is it me or are those uh, posts leaning? <laughs> it's that Easter, it's that wind, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> they want to lean that way, they want to blow that way, then it might go between the H's, this one. You know, that's why... As long as that's leaning, our, uh, our, uh, our facility that you've got is not leaning there. Because I've had a look where Terry is, and I've got a funny feeling I'm going to be up there uh, next week uh, in Mighty Millum, and it's. Uh... I've got a different looking platform. Oh, it's reassuring me, Terry, that I'm not going up be about 20 feet high. Ah, oh, you just need a six foot ladder. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm sure you can manage got, a six foot I've ladder. Got, I'm looking at it, and I've got shades of that spiral outside the old stand at the Boulevard where he did commentary. Anyway, that was a nicker grip. Anyway, back on this game, and Copeland. It's no wonder he took it under the post. He's the goal kicker, and he's landed it. He has, yes, yes. Oh, I'll apologise. I will be turning on a bit there, won't I, Dave? I'm not doing John Arlott. It's this a pigeon landing up field. <laughs> anyway, it's uh, it's game on again. Yorkshire have got a two-point lead as they uh, want to start the defence of the championship with a win. And uh, I'd imagine they'd be quite happy the whistle that went now, but there's still a a lot of time to play and it could go either way this game as the first one did yeah we've got more than 25 minutes to go in this game yeah so uh, it's getting better though isn't it it's, it's a slow burner and it's getting better and better this 14 12 in favor of the yorkshireman the white rose on top but only just cumbria looking to come back into it that's a torpedo reese that well taken that well, didn't he what a great catch that was and that's a good tackle as well a driving tackle which forces yorkshire back They'll start this attack 12 metres from their own line. 
And again, some solid work. Walsh has got oh. himself in from the wing and has conceded a penalty. Well, they'll be happy with that. I mean, second tackle as well. I mean, it was a good drive in originally anyway, but uh, that made it even better, didn't it? They'll take the requisite 10 metres. Yeah, I'm just, I'm not sure what it'll be like at Millham um, in relation to this situation of uh, doing the 10 or kicking for position. Oh, it's a good pitch at Millham. Is it? It is a good pitch, but it is surrounded by a stone wall, so you might end up doing exactly the same. Right. Been there a couple of times with Lee East over this last couple of years. And if you can't get to that game next week, it's an half past 12, half past two kickoff. Listen to uh, the uh, games on the Our League app. As you actually go down that right hand side. Oh, <laughs> Pen right. A block around the brick, brick, brick wall, did Pen Rise then? Easy for you to say that. Yeah, <laughs> just knock my teeth out then. <laughs> but uh, another good drive forward this time for him, that uh, man, Krupshank. In field it comes. Long ball to you Krupshank. Sense another try, don't you? Yeah, he's Rose. in, he's in. Rose he's is in. in. <laughs> a superb, superb tackle by. This guy he could is. be, though. Has he got over? No, he's Craig out. Duncan right? held up. I didn't think he got it down, to be honest, Steve. It was Russ Ball who put that tackle in before, Dave, to, to stop that try beforehand. But, uh, well, you've got to give credit where credit's due. Superb defence. And what about that tackle from Carl McBain as well? I mean, that, he just popped up from nowhere to stop that four points yeah. from being scored for Yorkshire. Didn't yeah, it? that was a good, big point in the game. But that tackle of Ball, so that was outstanding, wasn't it? Oh, it was. So Cumbria back in possession, 20 metres from their own line. Blaine Marwood passing the ball down the right-hand side, working something. Bobby oh. Wright tackled. The meat in the sandwich. <sighs> Rolled on his back too. Saunders is back on. Works himself to a standstill. To Saunders. It's very impressive against the Barley Lions last week. Oh, big drive as well by dinner. McBain. It's warming up this game. Well, that, I mean, that's technically a shoulder drive, isn't it? Marwood but, to the uh, left. Kick comes in from Jackson to complete the set. Trickles down the touchline. Poskett picks it up. He's on the turnaround. Tries to step between defenders, but Marwood watches him all the way. Brings him down 10 metres from his own line. It's strong. Met by equally strong defence. Yeah, it's uh, stubborn. No frills defence uh, by Cumbria. And to be fair... No frills carries by Yorkshire. Well, it's one of them, isn't it, Dave? You know, you just can't afford to make a mistake, especially a game as close as this one. Ramsden uh, carries the battle in. 40 metres from his own line. Ball sent left. No loop pass. Numbers. Good defence. It's Kogan. Well held. He's not happy. He got that. He was like being in no man's land. He didn't expect that, and he got... Got three, three round him like a rash. Last tackle. Right up. Kick comes in from Rouse. That's a brilliant completion. Brilliant tackle. And uh, when well, it was all getting a little bit tetchy and potentially getting tetchy. Yeah, Jonathan Walsh and Dale Cogan are having a deep, meaningful relationship at the moment. Uh, Rouse just settled it all down with a kick into touch. <laughs> it's a good job, Dave. Almost an hour on the clock. Anybody's game this, and like I say, uh, Craig just Craig Matshane's there. He's uh, not come out yet. He's surely at some stage he'll, he's taken his glasses off. Somewhere. Whether that means he's coming back on or not, I don't know. But uh, does that mean he's like Superman? He's took his glasses off. Well, you, you, we've watched him, and you wouldn't you, if you saw him with them glasses on, you wouldn't think you're a rugby player. But by heck, he certainly does the business. He's uh, he does. He's Marwood though. Cumbria doing the business, bringing the ball out of their own end. McBain once more. He's really come into this game in the last 10 or 12 minutes, yeah. hasn't he? Saunders running alongside Marwood, doesn't get the pass. Marwood takes it in himself. He's got a rugby player, the one that, uh, the, the, the Cumbrian hooker. He's a good player, as is this fella in possession, Jackson. Wide pass to Penrice. Didn't get through the defence on that occasion. Ball, doesn't he? Does. Last tackle here. Jackson goes to the air, a midfield bomb. Who wants it? Not Yorkshire from the look of it, but I think there's a penalty to Yorkshire there, man taken out. Yeah, he's uh, telling him what he's done. I mean, what he has done, the referee, he's been quick. 
with his calls and explain them straight away and then just got on with it, hasn't he, Dave? Yeah, he's impressive. Yeah. He's certainly got a, a future as a match official. Well, he, to me, this is a breeding ground, isn't it? You know, and, well, it's uh, as much a breeding ground for, for officials as it is for players, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, so longer it continues, the better. Yeah. Uh, Yorkshire back in possession. That's Halday playing the ball. 30 metres from his own line. And tough, tough defence there on Joe Ramsden. We spoke about Greg Natch in uh, Dave. The glasses has gone off. He's on the pitch. And, and not that's on. a big, a big hit. And uh, Cumbria, do they like that? Oh, yeah, no. It's Paul Matt Jane, isn't it? Yeah. So we've got a slight break in play while they all get the breath back and we get ours back, Dave. And what a cracking game. <laughs> it is a cracking game. Cumbria looking to launch a further attack. Bolton gets past the first tackler. It's like a bull in a china shot when he takes that ball in, Just isn't it? Bit, yeah. And there's Walsh. Uh, Corgan's in there again. He's letting him know he's there, Dave. Well, the two of them shared pleasantries a few minutes ago, didn't they? Saunders across to Jackson. Jackson across to, to Bolton. Bolton. Again, he manages to smuggle his way through. Sometimes you look at him and think he's going nowhere, but he just bursts He's got that second momentum, hasn't he, he every has. time he gets hit. And McBain, straight as an arrow at the defence. First time he's yielded as well, this second half. 25 metres away from the try line. You get the feeling it's building here for Cumbria. Did you just do it getting a bit closer as Saunders is tackled inside Last the Last one, Dave. Marwood. That dummy half. Trying to milk a penalty. To be fair, the man was all over the top. Little dribble forward. He's after it. Good play there from McShane. He's diffused the situation but conceded a dropout. But what an introduction back into the game there. You know, he had to be John on the spot. He's, I think he's had a 30, 40 minute rest or two. Uh, Get that early doors is not what you want, is it, Dave? And he just showed uh, what he can do and what a good player he is. So 14 points to 12 in favour of Yorkshire, but potentially more ball coming the way of Cumbria now from this dropout. They've just got to uh, turn the turn the key and keep this pressure on now, haven't they? It's a long dropout. We'll bounce on the 40 metre line, trickle its way towards halfway. Bolton collects it, sends it left to McBain. McBain, lovely step from him. It's like a cartoon step, wasn't it? Was a prop, it? Was a prop. I know. <laughs> Up to the 30 metre line, he'll play it quickly. Infield it comes. Nice drop off. Now Saunders veers off course like an exocet. Take it down the left hand side, here's McBain again. Penrice is waiting for the ball, the crash ball, as they go down that short channel. Short left hand side. Can Cumbria come up with a snap play here that'll break the Yorkshire line? Break the hearts and then result in points. Jackson brings it right. Here's Saunders. Short ball there. Great tackle on there. Nicholas. Nicholas. Inside the 10. Here's Marwood. Throws a dummy. Ducks beneath one challenge. Comes back to the right. Couldn't smuggle the ball. Good defence. Last tackle. Five metres away from the try line. Saunders passes in field. It's on a the crash. To the other Saunders. Great defence. Tell you what, Johnny Hodgson's pouring himself about as well. He's the 14 for Cumbria that you've seen right. popping up in the middle as a link man. I mean, they, they worked it well there. It was on for him to score, but you've got to give that. Well, both defences have been superb, but on this occasion it was Yorkshire's who's uh, stood up to the uh, task in front of them. It's a good place to turn the ball over, though, isn't it, Steve? It is. Uh, they could force you, an error here. From that your point of view, you've, you've got to play no frills rugby and try and... You know, five, I know it's boring, but it's five drives on a kick game, this, isn't it? It definitely is, yeah. As Kogan moves into dummy half, he'll run down this blind side. It takes on Saunders. Good tackle by Wright. Three into goal. the middle it comes. Roush releases the pass. Offload comes in. It's cleaned up by Crookshanks. Crookshanks on the halfway line, brushes away from one. Gets on an offload, offload for win. They've gone offload crazy, Yorkshire, as they got to the halfway line. Jordan Potter now in possession. Ingleby moves into dummy half. It's a slow play of the ball. That's slow, wasn't it? Rouse. Wide pass for Rouse. Oh, I tell you what, that's a great tackle. They wrapped him up good start because he got numbers to his left as they are now. Poskett 
Slides a kick into oh, touch. And that should be a Yorkshire ball, I think. Well, the referee, well, the referee says he never played at it. It looked like it to me, Dave. Um, I'm not convinced. I think he's got it right there. I think that's a great call. Oh, oh. After controversy, controversy, Steve Banning. Well, <laughs> really controversial if they go down this other end and score it, eh? But there'll be nothing controversial about it. They'll have earned it. <laughs> oh, all right, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Scrum to but be fed. I'll, I'll fair play. Being oh, it's Marwood. The referee is, ne is nearer to play than, than we are. Marwood to play on the 40 metre line. Here's Bobby Wright. Dealt full of him and vigour in the early stages of this set. Created by the enthusiasm of this fellow, Marwood, who finds Saunders, who crashes beyond the halfway. Can they manufacture a break as the dusk begins to fall here at York Acorn? McBain down the middle, just inside the Yorkshire half. 40 metres away from the line. They'll take it left. Hodgson found the man on support. Oh, that was a little offload. I wasn't convinced of that one, but play continues and there's a, a knock there for a Yorkshireman. Well, I thought was, the Yorkshire centre went for the intercept there and uh, fortunately from a Cumberland point of view, they got the ball out just in time. But uh, there is an injury. We've got a little bit of a stoppage uh, from the respite of this game as uh, the uh, the uh, the trainers come up, the water boys are coming on. I don't know. Is that cool? Is that cool? I don't think there'll be many taking water on board, Dave. <laughs> Unless there's something in that water. <laughs> Unless it's tea. <laughs> Unless it's tea, yeah. Uh, so 14 points to 12. Just a, a recap of the scorers. Yorkshire have been trying this afternoon for Craig McShane, Ben Strong and Liam Copeland, whose goal has put them in front, 14 points to 12. Cumbria scoring two tries themselves through Blaine Marwood and Luke Penrice. Two goals from the boot of Connor Saunders. He's still as tight as a drum, though. 14-12 with, uh, what, about 15 minutes remaining, plus whatever will be added on from this stoppage. Could just go, it, could go, it could go either way, this game. And, you know, you've got to give credit to these players and the coaching staff. And That's a blow for Yorkshire. To it. Who's going off there, is it? Uh, well, I know that George Nuttall is going on. Right. But it's I think it could be Jordan Potter who's coming off, actually. Credit to the players and credit to the coaches. And, you know, again, a big rap from that game earlier on. They, they've put their effort in and they've all, everybody's put their bodies on the line. And uh, they're all set again. Cumbria, about 25 metres away on that left-hand side. They'll bring it to the middle. Oh, Saunders has to improvise on the last. Dabs it forward. Not a bad play in the end. Oof. That's a vicious looking tackle there. Warm is he as well. <laughs> On Liam Copeland. Here's McShane. Does really well to bust the first tackle. That's a cracking 20 metre drive that, Dave. Copeland takes another hit. In fact, no, he sends it got numbers here. Yep. Kogan steps. Flicks the offload out to Strong. Look at that burst that he came up with from a standing start. Superb, there. wasn't it? But they want, to, they want to quick play the balls, aren't they? Rouse. Drop off ball from Rouse. To Lidbury. Lidbury charging downfield. 22 metres out from the try line. Yorkshire in possession. They'll push the ball right to Rouse. Through hands it goes to Crookshank. Crookshank is surrounded by Cumbrian players. who wrestle him to the ground, 15 metres away from the line. Last tackle signalled again, it goes right. Poskett kicks for the corner. Bolton did extremely well there. Superb. I mean, he put his body on the line for that one there, Dave. A beautiful grubber. And uh, Cumber is starting from where Yorkshire wants to, want him to start on their own uh, on their own try line. Going to try and eke a mistake out from them. Here's Saunders. Loves this rough, tough work, does Liam Saunders. Plays it to Marwood, who goes down the left-hand side. There's McBain again. And it's been an outstanding effort from him this second half. Cumbria. They're still full of running though, aren't they, the forwards for, Cum for Cumbria? Dave. Yeah, working away 30 a couple of players. Of players. He spark out that player, or two players. Huh? Two of them are out. And they're both it's Yorkshire strong. players. He's going to have to stop it in a minute. And I'm not sure whether they collided with each other or what they did there, but uh, but they certainly spark out, Dave. And, uh, if you're a rugby player, you know, we're not the prima donna sports, are we? 
if they're down and stay down, they're injured. Uh, fair play to the Cumbrians as well. As soon as they realised something serious had happened there, they were calling it and calling yeah. for the referee to stop it. Yeah. Um, it's... Uh, at least one of them has sat up. The the other part, I don't know who it is. He's, he's spark out at the moment. Uh, but he's getting attended to. Uh, it's getting cooler. Um, players are taking water on board. and uh, Well, the player who's up is Hal Day. Right. The guy who's down hasn't moved. Yeah, I know. It's, it's um, a really big collision, wasn't it? And... Uh, this is where rugby league comes secondary, isn't it? To the uh, well, yeah, I don't know. I think the health of everybody. Well, it, it's all about it's all about health and safety, you know. It, we want a good hard game. I'm not sure what that indicates that they want. To, um, well, it's a change. A change will have to be made. Yeah, but at the moment, it's a case of leaving that play where he is and um, then deciding what what to do or not to do. I mean. Uh, you know, the clock's uh, ticking down that we're going off uh, into the last 10 minutes and, uh, you know, there's, well, two, there's two points in it. Um, it must be said he's in the best of hands at the moment, isn't he, with the medical staff? Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Receiving yeah, or yeah, giving him attention. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, right. Uh, Teddy's uh, stopped our, our clock here on the 70-26. Uh, but again, the referee, it's, it's all in his hands. And at some stage, you might have to uh, make a big decision here. There's two points in it. And uh, I think that at some stage, the players will want to carry on. But they can't carry on until it's a decision to make about this player. I Steve, mean, is um, the protocol directly with the referee of what would happen in the event of a, 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 a really serious injury? I'm not... Yeah, I think, yeah, I think I, if, it, yeah, I if the referees, wanna... you know, because like Charles getting on, it's all about the welfare and... And keeping him warm. I mean, we had a Bala National Cup final early on this year, and uh, you know, an ambulance turned up for the player, and it took a hell of a lot of time. And I think that game eventually went on. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a bit of criticism afterwards about why this wasn't done or why that wasn't done, why we didn't get the spinal board out and stuff like that, because that was part of the complaint. But the bottom line is, we're in a litigious society here. It's about the welfare of the player. You don't move him. That's why we have, uh, you know, our emergency services as such. So. If there is a problem with anything there, they'll just leave him there and, uh, uh, you know, wait for an ambulance and then a decision's got to be made as to what to do. But uh, but in relation to the, the play, I'm not sure how it works, but I'm sure if it's game's been played... Terry's just told that he's sitting up. Um, but, oh, uh, yeah, that's, but that's a great sign. Now, whether he's going to be fit enough to play the rest of the game's another question. But if there's any doubt of a slight injury... When he's got up like that, you've just got to let him have a rest for his own welfare. Mm -hmm. He'll want to carry on, mm -hmm. but we can't. We don't do that now. We've got the concussion rules. We've got all these rules in place, whether it be a professional and an amateur. And we've got to make sure that we do these. And oh, look at that. He's up, on his feet. He's up I don't think he knows where he is. Brilliant effort for him to get back up. He's going to have to come off. But... Uh, He's slowly getting off another effort. He wants to get on with it, but nobody's going to get on with it until this player, because York should have got the play the ball, and if they make a dash here, you know, um, but I don't think he's coming back, that's for sure, Dave. Um, well, he's swaying all over the place, isn't he, with the help of the two guys? Uh, yeah, he doesn't know where he is. But, uh, it's, I'm just thankful, I think, for everybody watching this, that he's... Uh, he is managing to walk off the field. Well, that's the important thing, isn't it? So uh, he'll receive all the great care and attention that is afforded to players at all levels these days. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. And play is back on. That's a good run there from uh, Ingleby. And it's Daryl Lidbury, the player that's uh, injured, is just sitting down in the dugout, uh, Dave. Forward comes Dwayne McRae for Yorkshire. 30 metres away from the try line. 14, 12 up at the White Rose. As Crookshank brings it into the 20. Ingleby goes again. Puts it left. Oh, got through the hands there to Potter. That's great defence. Ingleby, long ball to the middle. Rouse kicks it for the posts. Great take. Oh, good defence. Jackson did incredibly well there. Well, he got it 
got his momentum and went back in field, didn't he, as well, Dave? Marwood passing to his left-hand side, picking up the big run there from Josh Bannum. Again, they'll go through the middle. Carl McBain. Good drive. He's took him on all afternoon, hasn't he, Carl McBain? Yeah, he has. And this is a little look and he's having a cracking game. Marwood up to the 40. They're at the wrong end of the field, though. Ah, Cumbria. Kick comes in from Jackson. Played off the boot of Copeland. Tosses the ball into the middle. To Max Yeah. Yep. For a, a wiry lad, he's pretty strong, isn't he? He is, yeah. Uh, yeah. And he took them three tackles her then and just gets up ready for some more. Here's Copeland again. Did well to get to halfway. Steady as you like in this set. Now Cogan. Anything could happen with him in the... Oh, that looked like a penalty to me. No, he's Sanders not. Sanders passed the ball back. Picked up here. Free play. Liam Nicholas with a strong run for Cumbria. Zero tackle. Marwood passes to his left. Picks up the run in there of Jonathan Walsh, who's put down over the halfway line by three tacklers. Into the last ten minutes of play, Saunders crashes his way through the middle. What's Marwood got up his sleeve? Puts it on a plate for McBain. Oh, what a cracking drive. It's a belting run for McBain. He's still going. Put there on the 20-metre line. Slow play the ball. Marwood, though, picks up. Puts a long ball left. Jackson inside to Bolton. Bolton's off. Scurrying forward and inside the 10. Jackson inside. Oh, they've got to be... Oh, what a cracking tackle. Fantastic hit there. Last Callum tackle. Pinred. And they're going to go in. Have they scored? I think it No, they haven't. I thought we got deja vu from uh, game one, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> well, they were the same corner, wasn't it? They did, and they worked it down that left-hand yeah. side. It was a, a short crash ball, which they've been pretty good at, haven't they, over the course of the game, uh, but just deemed forward. The defence was uh, superb there. I think they thought they'd uh, nicked it there, did uh, Cumbria. But it's still two points for the current champions of the... Uh, Open Ridge, uh, Ball of Three Counties Tri-Series Championship. Up by 14 points to 12 are the White Rose of Yorkshire. This is the uh, best of the amateur players in the counties against each other. Happens every year, this, Steve, doesn't it? Yeah, it's it's fantastic, obviously, now with the fact that the added caveat of, you know, uh, Southern Hemisphere 2 has, uh, you know, it, on that. it's not for these players this year, but... Uh, you know, they've got to keep on doing it for when the next tour comes in about three, four years' time. Is it but to be honest, the players that we saw in the 19s in the game before, they, uh, they're they the ones that are up for it, aren't they? As oh. Colgan looks strong. Oh, good ball. Strong. Put there by Bolton. Inside the 20 goal. The Yorkshire side, though. Rouse kicks it wide. Oh, no, what I last last here. He bounces and bobbles and goes over the touchline. I've got to say, we have real fade in light here. We have. Uh, if there's a try in that corner, Dave, I'll, I'll, I'll bow down to your youthful eyes. <laughs> well, you give us a shout if who try score is, Jerry. Yeah. He's got all cool weather, but the best view. <laughs> we must say that it's always easier with a camera on it because it does find the light, does a camera? Does it? It does. OK, Mothman. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's some... Uh, Coaches are saying two minutes on our clock. We're on 75.36, and uh, I'm sure there's more than that, but the time is in the referee's hands. Oh, referee wasn't happy where that ball was played by Walsh, so he'll have to play it again to Marwood. Slips it to his left. McBain with another carry. At times, he's took this pack on himself, hasn't he, McBain? Yeah, yeah. He's been outstanding. Saunders. Drives it through the middle, well held by two players. A third man joins the fray just to push Saunders to the ground. Still inside their own 30. Marwood, though, launches an attack down the left-hand side and they've broke 15 metres. Kinraid in possession. He'll play it to Marwood. In field, it comes to Jackson. Jackson stepping. Not quite clever enough to outfox the defence. Well, it's still, just a war of attrition and it's a last tackle this, Dave. Still Yorkshire up by two points in this one. Kick goes up in the air from Saunders. 
Oh, well taken there, Penrice. Slips but the ball off the side and it's been intercepted. Yeah, well, they had to keep the ball alive, didn't they, uh, as such? And I think they were hoping that a, a Yorkshire player might go for it and knock on, but, uh, you know, they used a bit of nice over game management, did the, uh, did the hosts. And they're being very settled. There's only one or two passes in every movement now for Yorkshire, as you'd expect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down the left, it's moved. That's a strong run. Split the initial line there, did uh, Ryan Price, who's been pretty good for Yorkshire. He slid and went to another five, Dave. <laughs> Poskett releases the pass to his right-hand side to support. Saunders comes up with a big hit in the middle. Ingle be at dummy half. Would he go for a drop, Dave? Uh, we'll find out whether Rouse has got that in his radar, which he doesn't. He puts it high. But in this fading light, anything can He's happen. The ball's yeah, gone loose. Ball. Oh. Oh. So they've got a turnover, so it's Cumbria's ball. And it's where Yorkshire want the turnover as well, isn't it, Dave? You oh, it know, is, just, just 10 metres away yeah. from the line. Yeah. Uh, that was a technical term to crack on. <laughs> I'm not sure whether that would have been picked up on our mics, but uh, I don't know whether they're that, they're that sensitive, in all honesty. Well, we don't think, you don't think, he just told them, let's get going. <laughs> so, I would have done half. So, two points, a Champions lead, Cumbria by, in game one. Of this championship. Walsh, 12 metres from his own line. Marwood picks up, sends it to nobody. Thought that had gone loose that, Dave. Cleaned up by Jackson. It was a scrappy ball, wasn't it? Yeah. You can forgive him for one or two, because he's been outstanding, hasn't he, Marwood? Yeah. Puts it left. Is that our man Graham? I think it is. Yeah, only knows one way. Marwood picks up, looks for support. Saunders slips it out to the Jackson. Numbers. Now Bolton's in possession. Bolton through one, through two, through three. Slips the ball out to Saunders. Ball palm down. Another this six. Play on. Another six. Right. Oh, that warmed his ears. Took a heavy hit there. Coming his way from Lawrence Dib. Certainly no Dib 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 about that one. <laughs> dob, dob, dob. <laughs> he dubbed him good style. They keep the ball moving. Penrice has it. Penrice puts the step on, but it doesn't outfox the defence on that occasion. Oh, scrappy oh. ball into the middle. Someone needs to get on it. Well, the momentum's gone slightly there, Dave. Ryan Wilson picks it up and cleans up for the Cumbrians, who are approaching the 20-metre line with a bit more relish. It's down the right-hand side with Bolton. Long ball, misses them all out, goes to Walsh. Walsh is tackled 20 metres from the try line, 10 metres in from touch. He'll play to Bolton. Bolton fires it infield. Good run. Solid surge, but no way through for Liam McNicholas. 10 metres away from the try line. Last one. Saunders. Dabs it forward. Well oh, picked up. Superb defence. Drop out for us, though. But he kept hold of the ball, Dave. You know, he could have been, uh, you know, twitchy, but we would have lost that ball in that in goal. But uh, I don't think they're going to be in any hurry, that's for sure. At your Five technical terms, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> Just checking. <laughs> <laughs> I've not heard that referred to in rugby league before. Well, you know, <laughs> we've all got to be unique. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> <laughs> That's something about twitchy bums, I think. Well, he's a good friend of mine, he's Mr Ferguson. Well, they're in no worry, Dave. It's, uh, well, up by two points. This I'm is the time for the rally. I'm glancing at that, and we're now we're being deemed by what... Uh, the referee's put on after that injury. Wow, big run there from Graham into the 20 metre line. Chance here for Cumbria. Oh, could this be the last saloon for him? This, is this in that last set? Kinraid, 12 metres from the line. Marwood, does he fancy a dart? He's taking it left. Jackson, oh, through yeah. hands. Good defence from Yorkshire. Well, they've got to make sure they don't give a penalty here. I mean, would they go for a penalty if they get it? Come Back in field it comes. Jackson to no one in particular. Pass. Bolton cleans up. Brushes away from one. Can't escape the clutches of Kogan. They've gone backwards in that particular play. Into the middle it comes. <laughs> Ryan Wilson takes the full hit and full force of that three-man challenge. He's then scragged to the floor. That's a lead term. A lead term. Mm -hmm. 
Martin will pass his left. Kick comes in. The banana Jackson. kick. Well taken by Yorkshire. I don't know who took that, but that was a sensational take. Um, they'll now come out from their own end. Well, that was an amazing take on the last tackle that day under, under his own post. McShane plays it. The light's almost completely gone for us as commentators here. Big challenge comes in, and uh, I think that's Strong who's felt the full weight of that. Well, it's uh, it's one of them, isn't it? Neither side can afford to make a mistake. Yorkshire can't afford to give a penalty away. They can't afford to drop the ball where they are at the moment. Copeland makes five metres with that latest carry, but they're still just 25 out from their own line. Are they working towards a touchline for a kick? Saw this in a championship game earlier this season where they charged down and got a try. Right. Kick comes in from oh, Rouse. Game management. What a lovely a, kick. It's a good kick and no, nobody is in any hurry. I think... Uh, well, Cumbria are now Ma looking was to form probably, I think, scrum. asking how long's left, sir? Left. How long's left, sir? How long's left, sir? Yeah. <laughs> 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 My teeth have gone, Dave. <laughs> But it's, I'll tell you what, it's been a splendid entertainment, hasn't oh, it? Oh, it's been magnificent. We've had two, two really good arm wrestles of a game, haven't we? And I bet, and I bet uh, Carl Morton, who's the uh, in charge of the Yorkshire settle, we're thinking that's Steve. It's all or nothing here for Cumbria. Kick forward by Jackson. It's covered by Yorkshire. Well taken there by Duncan. Who takes the tackle and Yorkshire take the victory by 14 points to 12. Uh, tell you what, Yorkshire scored three tries on the game through Craig McShane, Ben Strong, and Liam Copeland. Copeland adding the goal which separates the side. Well, it was a touch line goal as well, wasn't it, Dave, to do the business, wasn't it? Uh, no, it was when he oh, went no, under the post. It, yeah. yeah, it's when the scorer went under the post there. So. Yeah, went to Salmon, yeah, that's the one. Uh, so Cumbria also grabbed tries through Luke Penrice and Blaine Marwood. Two goals from the boot of Connor Saunders. What a magnificent game. Well, I was going to say, like, you know, Carl had been thinking that Steve man, and he sent me this, bring two trophies in case it goes wrong for him. And he must have been having a twitchy bum himself, the hooded Carl Morton. But it was a fantastic game, and end to end, in your face, crashing tackles, and it's all what you want in a game of rugby league. And uh, from a Yorkshire point of view, they've got what they wanted to win. They don't want to win by more points than that. But we're talking about a win's a win in this game, and. Uh, Cumbria have still got a chance. It again opens it up, doesn't it? Even though it's just a, a, a two-point defeat, you know they, they have the game coming up against Lancashire. If they can get a win there, then well, well they've got that. They've, they? they've had that game against the Lions. They've had this game today. Two weeks later, all right, they've got another game a week later. But they will be more than battle hard and are well prepared for Lancashire. And uh, I know Lancashire will be confident when they go up to uh, Milne Road next week. Both sides will be confident. But given what we've seen so far. It could go either way, and uh, for of a better, I don't know what the song is, but that's the way we like it. Uh, Steve, it's been magnificent having you alongside me. Thank you very much uh, for all your efforts. I hope you've enjoyed the coverage via the Hour League. Our thanks to uh, Terry for working the technicals on the camera as well. And uh, we'll leave you safe in the knowledge that uh, Cumbria uh, won in the 19s game, yep. but it's Yorkshire who win the day in the open age, and we're back again next week. And just finally, Dave, I know you're going over the Lions on the next, this time next Saturday. We're on that plane going over to uh, Brisbane. Best of luck on that. We're doing the media work for the Bile Alliance. I'm sure you'll do everything what we can do, and it'll come back with great feedback. And best of luck for you and the boys on the tour of Fiji. Uh, thank you very much, Steve. I think what we'll do as well is uh, there's also going to be a, a, a regular blog that will be appearing on the Bile website, and I'll be looking to keep everyone up to date via uh, a special Twitter account, which will be made in the next couple of days. And uh, you can follow us on Bile Fiji. G Tour 2018 on Facebook so uh, very best of luck to yourself as well uh, for the onwards of this tournament and we'll leave you with that that's really that thanks uh, thanks for everybody who's uh, watched it oh you've all enjoyed it